the PAC-DA, strategic bomber from Russia, which would be the nation's first big combat plane in decades, might finally be on schedule for a test flight in 2024. Sanctions related to Russia's invasion of Ukraine may put an end to designers' and engineers' aspirations for the new plane, despite more than a decade of patchy development. The Russian bomber fleet may eventually be eliminated if the bomber program fails. When Moscow sponsored a design competition for a new long-range bomber in 2009, that is when the PACTA program got its start. The winning entry was created by Tupolev, a Moscow-based aircraft design company with historical connections to pre-World War II Russia. The Tu-95, NATO codename Bear, 222M3 Backfire, and 2160 Blackjack Bombers are just a few of the heavy bombers that were entirely designed by Tupolev for the Russian Air Force. All three bombers are outdated, with debut years ranging from the 1960s through the 1980s. Before stealth was ever a concept, Tupolev created the bomber, which has four propeller-driven engines. Because of this, it can only carry cruise missiles and launch them away from hostile radar. It resembles the American B-52 bomber in general. The Tu-22M3 has variable geometry swing wings and is capable of transporting both cruise missiles and unguided bombs. The Tu-160 is a big, Swing-winged bomber with stealth features comparable to those of the American B-1B Lancer bomber. America's stealth bomber, the B-2 Spirit, was unveiled in 1988. Russia lacks a comparable aircraft. According to a number of reports, the PAC-DA is intended to surpass the B-2 and immediately compete with the future B-21 Raider bomber. The bomber will be the country's first aircraft with flying wings. At launch, it will weigh 145 tons in metric, with a maximum weapon payload of 30 tons. The B-2 Spirit can transport up to 40 tons of weaponry and has a maximum takeoff weight of 150 metric tons. PAC-DA will have a range of 9,300 miles, whereas the combat range of the B-2 Spirit stealth bomber is 6,600 nanometers miles. The range must return to Russia without refueling so that the bombers can be rearmed and refueled for their next mission because Russia has fewer aerial refueling tankers to assist long-range missions. Over the duration of a long-range mission, American bombers can anticipate more tanker support, allowing planners to give payload priority over fuel. The new Tupolev will be given a new ground assault cruiser by Russia. Like the PAC-DP itself, the new missiles have been under development for years without making any notable strides. The missiles, like the KH-101 cruise missile of the current version, can carry conventional or nuclear warheads. They will also have a range that is even greater than the KH-101, a cruise missile with the longest operational range in the world, 3,400 miles. There are indications that KH-101 may not be as effective as it first appears, hence Russia needs the new missiles. The KH-101 missiles are said to be low observable, which means they have certain stealth qualities to make it harder for an enemy to find them. Despite these characteristics, the Ukrainian military previously asserted that it had shot down seven of the eight KH-101s that a single bomber had launched. A significant failure rate has apparently been documented for KH-101 missiles as well. This strongly implies that for PACTA to be effective in battle, a new cruise missile is required. But even before the war, the new bomber's development was challenging. Due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, it can come to a complete halt. In order to penalize Russia, Western nations imposed sanctions that severely damaged its economy and there will be no rapid lifting of the sanctions. The Russian defense budget will surely be cut, and Moscow will be compelled to give existing equipment priority over the development of new weapons.